Anin, Bujur, Nidinwe, Maganak, Makade Benise, Nishnakas, Megizi Dodem. Hi, it's Jamie, and I wanted to take a few minutes to share a few thoughts now that we're in that fall season. So we've had our first full moon of the fall season and we're in the harvest moon. I'm getting to see lots of great pictures and hearing a couple of great stories of medicine picking adventures. I feel like we need to make a movie or something about that and relive some of those moments because there are some funny stories out there. We're probably going to see that happening for the next month until we hit that first real hard frost. And that's usually when I see um, the work that people do kind of changes. So we've had, you know, our sundance ceremonies and our fasting ceremonies. They've kind of wrapped up now and the Thunderbirds are no longer needed as much to cleanse the land the way they did when we were doing those ceremonies. So now they're going home and they're going to rest as well. This is the time um, when I see some ceremony makers let their bundles rest and it's obviously for their own personal reasons some things that i could see would be so that they keep their cup full so that they have a chance to rest and rejuvenate so that they can come back nice and strong for when those big ceremonies are happening again and then also because it's challenging to ceremony outside in our climate uh, over the winter time because it is so bitterly cold unfortunately so unless you have a nice setup where you can have like a, a wood fire burning to keep it toasty warm us pitiful creatures don't do well <laughs> in the winter time here so we end up sitting um, in our homes and you know we're not at ceremony as much in the winter time so I'm bringing it up now so that you can get ready for that time, for that season. Um, if you sun danced or you fasted this past summertime, I wanted to say thank you so much on behalf of the community, on behalf of the people for doing that work because not everybody can. And you may have psyched yourself up a little bit or maybe a lot in some cases for like that those four days you're like I just got to make it through these four days and then life will be okay life will be better and I hate to be the bearer of news but this is uh this is the time now where get ready because this is when the work begins now that all of those big ceremonies have kind of wrapped up and some people are kind of letting their bundles rest now the real work begins now is the time when it's going to be a good time for you to sit and reflect on what you saw in ceremony what you learned in ceremony and if you saw um, visions or if you saw something that you're supposed to be doing how do you make that actionable how do you put that into practice moving forward for ceremony or in your daily life for the rest of your life um, this is the time when um, especially between I, for myself, speaking from my own personal experience, between the end of November to like about the middle of February, you're literally sitting in the dark. It's the time of year when we have the least amount of sunshine. And I know for me, that's when I experienced um, probably my worst depression moments or my, my saddest moments because I was literally sitting in the dark. And so I'm bringing it up now so that I hope I can say to you, Gijitan, get ready for that time because if you're, if, and we're human, right? Like we, sometimes we fall back into old habits. Sometimes we fall back on old behaviors that we know that they weren't really serving as well, but they're familiar and we know what they are. We know when I do this, <laughs> I feel a little bit better but it's not necessarily the greatest in the long run. So if you had the chance, or if you had the reminder, let this be your reminder. Get ready. You know, pull out a couple of, or put a few ideas off to the side so that when, you're, when you face those harder times, or if you're having a really, truly difficult time, 
Maybe you go and you sit with some ceremony family. Maybe you go and, you know, visit and um, just have coffee or just, you know, have some food together. Because now is the point in time where you're really going to start to do that work that you committed to in Sundance or in your fast. So that's all I can say is I hope that you're ready and I hope that you sit with people who help you feel amazing about being you and just know that every second that you spend working on you, you're worth it. Every second. That's all I think I want to share for this video. I hope you have a beautiful fall season and I hope to see you again in ceremony soon.